my name is Kylie Bologna. Welcome if you are new with us. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you've been here before, you know that if I'm in the car, we're probably on an adventure. Today, we're really not going that far. I just figured we'd have a little day together, spend the day together, and just chill. Um, I just have like errands to run today. Um, my goal is to clean out my car, and I have like four bags of five cent cans. So I'm on my way to the store to deposit those, and I wanna go to like Starbucks and get a matcha. And it's just kind of like a chill day for me. To be completely honest, I have been really tired lately from work, and that hasn't left me much time with YouTube stuff and like thinking about content ideas. And I'm just gonna be very transparent about that, is that I'm kind of tapped out right now in this very moment. And I'm sorry if my videos are feeling repetitive or boring because of that and I do just want to apologize so we're just kind of chilling I figured it would be a great opportunity for me and you to just sit down relax talk it out um yesterday me and my sister just went and saw Dark Star Orchestra which is kind of like dead and company music um, and it was amazing. It's my sister's like favorite kind of music. So it was really awesome to be in her element and like seeing her in a light that makes her truly happy. Like that was really awesome and the music was so good. It was so good. And I'm just really happy that like, I grew up around music, like my dad's drummer and like my sister's always had a passion for music and it's like that's something that I've missed for a very long time in my life and it's really nice to like be able to reconnect with that. I don't film it as much because I'm not really sure if it's something that you guys want to see. Also concerts are really hard to like film but maybe eventually we'll get to filming that. Um, yeah so today we're just kind of chilling. I do want to go to the dollar store to see if I can find a little frame for my ticket from last night. It's my first ever dead show, so I do want to frame that ticket and just really be able to like sit down and be like, wow, I did this, like I went, and that's amazing. I would do literally anything to make my sister happy, but the fact that I can go and it brings me so much joy too is just the most amazing feeling that I, it wasn't something that I like was like, oh, I'm missing this, but it's really nice to be able to connect to. Um, also, I have my hair down today. I don't know if you guys like it better. Like, as much as I want to like yippity yip yip yap, I'm like kind of dying. I'm just like, I don't know how to say it in words, but I'm just kind of like tapped out energetically. Like I'm just, really tired all the time and when even when I'm not like doing something or like this is the first time I picked up a camera in a week and I'm so sorry for that and I don't say that just because I want you guys to like feel bad or feel guilty or like nothing none of that please I'm just trying to be transparent with you guys I think I've created an environment here where we can all be real and we all have like a community where we can communicate and I take a lot of pride in that so I just that's why I lay everything out for you guys I'm just kind of chilling this is more of um, it's just me and you let's relax let's take our time Let's enjoy what we have while we have it. Um, I'm going through a lot of changes in my life and they just make me nervous. I am in the process of something right now. I don't know, I really can't talk about it too much. I don't know whether I'm going to take the opportunity or not, um, but after it's all said and done, I will talk about it a little bit more. Um, I just want to be transparent with you guys. It's like, you guys know that I've thought about moving. 
and there's an opportunity right now where I could potentially move, but in a case that I kind of don't want to, so I'm kind of holding off, but, um, yeah. Um, I have like three bags of five cent cans. If you don't know, in Massachusetts, like all my um, energy drinks are all five cent cans. So I can like put them in this machine and it gives me money basically. We are almost at the store now. My monster energy for I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a matcha. It just makes me feel so good. Oh, or I could go to the spa and get a healthy Elvis. Oh, Google their hours. I don't, so the spot is like, um, it's a smoothie place essentially. And I think it's just a local thing. Like I think it's just um, right here. I think it was born and created in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. And it's this really nice smoothie place. And they also do like acai bowls. I should go there. And honestly, I love a good smoothie. We used to have a smoothie place in the Berkshire Mall back when it was open and it used to be so good I used to get my strawberry banana smoothie all the time ugh it used to be so banging our mall has probably been closed for about five almost seven years now maybe a little bit more which is actually crazy it's so crazy the way abandoned malls work um, if you guys don't know, I've talked about it a little bit in videos just passing, but there's an abandoned mall in my town and it closed while I was probably like a freshman in high school, maybe a sophomore. So it's been closed for a little bit, maybe less than five years, maybe approximately. But I think it's really interesting. And there's a part of me that wants to make like a separate channel for doing like docu-series, but I don't wanna, you guys know me. I love to get ahead of myself and I love to just go, go, go. But uh, I really love a good documentary and I would love to get my like editing skills and filming skills up to that kind of level. Um, I was just talking about this on the podcast is I am about to take a class for graphic design so that I can hopefully get my thumbnails a lot better so that we can all work on that. I just want to consistently grow to create better and consistently better content for you guys. Because like, don't get me wrong, this is me being consistent. However, comma, I feel like it's my quality that sometimes is inconsistent. Cause like some videos I'm like, okay, I've had this plan for months. I'm like, we're good, we're going. And then for this, I'm like, okay, like I have no plan and it is too late to come up with one. So this is what we're doing. And it's like, I say stuff like that for you guys because I do just want to be completely honest and transparent. Also, it's 38 degrees and snowing and I don't have a jacket because I'm an idiot. I was like, oh, it's like probably warm out. It's not warm out. I'm in my little overalls and I have my shirt that says, find your happy. And I have this new um, headband on that I actually got at Five Below, and it's like kinda cute. So first time I've worn a headband since cutting all my hair off. So this feels great. It's the little things that still give me a lot of anxiety with like having short hair. Talked about a lot of my struggles with like the short hair thing. And it's just very interesting. And I think it's so interesting the way that we perceive ourselves over time based on the lens of somebody else or based on the lens of somebody else's opinion. Okay, I am at the store now. I am going to go in and deposit all my cans and we will be right back. Okay guys, cans are all done. Everyone is always so nice there. There was like this new guy today and he was so nice. He was like, thank you for being so patient. And I was like, I will, I literally have nothing better to do today. Like today is not the day I have more to do. Um, also, my sister just texted me and said that I have to meet them at Panera. So now I have to meet them at Panera after. Um, oh, let me Google the spot. They are open. So we are going, we are now going on a smoothie. So Courtney's probably going to Starbucks. 
So she's probably gonna get me a Starbucks. So instead of a Starbucks, I'm gonna get a smoothie. And then if she just happens to bring me a Starbucks too, then it's good. Then it's Gucci. Um, that was really that really boosted my mood. I kind of like it when they make me stand around for a while. Like I, I don't know, I like it because for me it's like. I have this thing where I do not want to be on my phone. Like, I just hate being on my phone. It's just like a thing for me. Like, if I didn't do YouTube as like a job, I would probably have a flip phone because I just like don't think there's really, like I get it, like technology is important. Like, I like that I can like use maps and like I know where I'm going to places. But besides, ugh, I think it's gone too far. But um, that's also a great, like, very interesting thing with me is I'm very anti-technology, but I kind of do technology as my job. So it's kind of fun and fresh. Um, but we're going to the spot, which is a smoothie place. I'm so excited. And then after that, I have to go to Dollar Tree to find a picture frame. And then we're going to go to Panera to hang out with my sister and all of my sister's friends. I don't know who's going, but... I'll just show up. Show up and show out. Oh, I'm so excited to go get a smoothie. I am going to pause you for a little bit and I will see you when we're Also, I forgot to mention, uh, I, we made $11. So that's awesome. $11.55. And also, spinning off of my technology rant, my phone is getting to the point where it's now so old that I can't have a phone call and hear you if it's not on speaker. So now every phone call I make has to be on speaker. Otherwise I cannot hear a single thing anyone is saying. And um, honestly, it's kind of give and take. Like I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So I think I have to get a new phone soon. So that is potentially in the works for my life. I'm blasting some music and we will be there literally in like five minutes. We are pulling into the spot right now. This is honestly one of the coolest places ever. Um, when I was a child, this was a subway. Now it is this like really cool smoothie spot. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna show you guys, hold on. Look at this place is like honestly so cool. Okay, I am going to put my phone right here. I don't know if it's gonna record enough. But I want you guys to see the inside, but I will not record it on this. So I'm going to do that and see if that works out for us. I will see you guys once I get my healthy Elvis. Honestly, I tried to record in there and that's the best I could do. Um, I don't know how good that footage is. I haven't watched it yet. But inside, it's really so cute. There's always just like two people working. They're usually really nice. This is the healthy Elvis. This is my favorite. Um, it's peanut butter. I think it's like spinach. I don't know what's in it, but it's so good. Mm. It's so good. And they made this so thick. I love it. It's so good. Oh, we are, I'm going to track my sister's location so we can see where she is. Because then if she's far away enough still... Oh, and she's getting me a matcha sleigh. Yeah, she's still pretty far. So we are going to go to the Dollar Tree right now and go find a picture frame. And then after that, we are going to Panera. Woo, woo, woo. I am going to listen to music and I will see you guys at Dollar Tree real quick. I also hope you guys really know how much I enjoy sharing little parts of my town like this. Like this spot. Like this place has probably been open for maybe two years. And it's just really good. And I think they do a really great job with what they have in this small community. But I will see you guys at Dollar Tree. We are at the Dollar Tree. So, uh, let's go, baby. Let's go spend that money. I love you guys. Okay guys, we're outside of the Panera. I just drove over here because it was literally like the street away. Um, we got 
this picture frame at the Dollar Tree and they were like interesting. That Dollar Tree is always like so just gross that it kind of freaks me out, but I'm really excited. I think this is really cute. Um, my sister does not know that I'm filming today, so everybody may or may not be on camera to be completely transparent with you guys. It's just been like a really nice, chill day to do this. I think after this, we might go to Target and just walk around. Um, I'm just kind of chilling, waiting for everybody. My sister's like, we're just going. And I'm like, okay, like, let me know when you want me to meet you. Like, I'm always just like the around. Like, I'm just around. Um, I'm just gonna chill and listen to music for a little bit. But I just want you guys to know, it's so like, fun for you guys to just be a part of my day, if anything else. Okay, I don't know what the vibes are. So uh, to be honest, I'm not gonna bring in my camera, but I will bring my phone so I can film a little bit. I love you guys, and I'll see you right after lunch. Ah, that was very interesting. Um, turns out I'm not really a people person today. I literally walked in there, and it was all of her friend group, so like 10 people. Not even all of her friend group. She has way more friends like that. And it was just a lot, and that was very overstimulating for me, and I didn't really love it today, which is like also really important for me to be like, hey, this is a lot. They're all going to Target, so I think I'm gonna wait a little bit and then go to Target. But I did see some of my regular guests from my store, so that was really cool. I think I'm gonna go to Goodwill real quick. I don't know, I think for me right now, I just need some time. Time is always like really important to me. You know what, I'm just gonna go home because I think we deserve to spend some time with Ken. So I will see you guys at the house. Okay guys, I literally just got home and I feel so much better. I just feel so much better just being home. Ugh. At the end of the day, I am a homebody and I love being alone and by myself. It's like my favorite. I'm opening my picture frame right now. This is my ticket from last night, so I'm literally so excited. Uh, my sister also has a set list, and she says that that's a big deal. So she wants to give me that to frame as well. And I'm just like really excited. This is like a first for me, and I think it's really cool to get to experience that with like my best friend. And that's like something that nobody can take away from me. You know, that's the thing about experience. Nobody can ever take away your experience. I'm really proud of this. When I was really little, our great aunt used to scrapbook a lot. And this kind of reminds me of that. But now it's just all framed. I think I'm going to hang it. And then while we are talking about things that are hanging, I have this, which is, it was a YouTube tracker for me. However, comma, it went to 500, which is now filled. We have reached 500 subscribers, which is amazing. I think I'm gonna make another one from 500 to 1,000. I think that'll be really fun, and I'm really excited for this next chapter in my life with you guys. Um, me and Kenneth are gonna go on a walk, so I figured I'd bring you guys with me. I think I'm gonna take him on the bike trail for the first time. He has never been, and I think that'd be really fun. So let's go. Me and Ken went outside for about five minutes, and then he was like, this is way too cold. So he came inside, so we weren't out for very long, so I'm sorry. Um, I think we're gonna go get ice cream later, but for right now, we are just gonna chillax and hang out. Are you saying hi? But um, I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I just got home from my sister's. We went and her boyfriend watched Barbie and the 12 Dancing Princesses for the first time. It was his first time ever watching a Barbie movie, which was so good. And I, my sister gave me this woo, which is so nice. You guys wanna see Trick? I love a good hula hoop moment. I just think a good hula hoop solves so many problems. And it just makes you feel so good. I just love a good fidget. 
Anything to do with a good fidget, I live for. Um, but it's 10 o'clock right now, and I think it's time for me to end this day in the life here. So, thank you guys so much for your time, energy, and everything that you guys give to me. I love you guys so much, and um, I'm really going to take some time right now for myself and to really figure out what we're going to be doing moving forward. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.